So Provine rants on about how, so if there's evolution, therefore there is no life after death. How do you make that connection? I'm sorry, but evolution does not change if there's an afterlife. Um, I don't think there is an afterlife, but that has nothing to do with evolution. It has to do with neurology. Um, but, uh, you know, that's a different, different subject. And then with no life after death, so there's no meaning to life. I find plenty of meaning to my life. And, uh, and most atheists, uh, I would say, feel the exact same way. So just because this idiot can't seem to grasp the world around him in the, in the natural order of things and be happy with it, it's supposed to change something? I don't, you know, the, the atheists that I know are some of the happiest and uh, most enjoyable people that I hang around with. They, uh, they like to have fun. They live life to the fullest. It's a about life because you only get one shot you're not worried about the afterlife you're not worried about well you know it's, it's okay that my life sucks right now because I'll be repaid in in the afterlife no make it good now because you're not going to get a second shot life means more not less Next, last one we then find out that Provine had a uh, brain tumor um, was able to be treated but it was coming back but not before we found out that uh, he wanted to kill himself, not go down in a slow, painful death like his brother had. Um, I wouldn't either. They're, they make this out like it's a bad thing. Uh, Stein says, I hope that those were empty words. Um, no, I would side with him. I don't want to have a long, slow, painful death either. It's not a bad idea. Euthanasia is not something scary. Got a video on that too if you want to check it out. Um, so then... Uh, Stein tells us that he found out that uh, that in fact there were other people with stories just like his and we see P.Z. Myers, Richard Dawkins talking about how science uh, kind of guided them into the, the path to uh, let go of their religion none of them are in the despairing case that uh, that this guy Provine is doing none of them are, are so upset that there's no free will because evolution happened because that's ridiculous um, you know, again, it's, it doesn't end the meaning of life. It just changes it a little bit. Um, but, uh, but yeah, most evolutionary biologists are atheists. So, yeah, that's there. But is that what you're scared of? People becoming atheists? Again, I thought it wasn't about religion. Why are we talking about it so much? So, with about 34 minutes left in the movie... We're about to wrap up. <laughs> not because I'm going to skip the rest of the movie. Just there's not going to be much else to talk about. We've been building to this Escalade, and uh, now we get to this idea. And the uh, PZ Myers talks about the idea that science will come in and it's, it's, it's slowly working its way in and pushing religion to being, as he puts it, a side dish, not the main course of life. Um, once upon a time, it was not only the main dish, but the side dish and the dessert. And uh, now we're getting to a point that life is progressing because we're removing religious aspects. We're, we're stopping this idea that everything is the devil, as uh, you would, uh, the water boy's mother would have told us. You know, Bobby Boucher uh, wanted to get an ed education as well, but uh, you know, everything was the devil. And uh, and so, you know, would this lead to a modern utopia if atheism became prominent and the majority? You can only imagine where it was going. It was coming. We knew it would. So now we get to sit through 30 minutes of, well, look at what history tells us uh, the eradication of religion leads to. Wrong. The eradication of religion does not lead to what happened with uh, Stalin or with what happened with Hitler. By the way, he was Catholic. Um, what we uh, what we find is that these guys had their own idea of what they wanted, and they, they delivered it in a totalitarian, uh, totalitarian style fashion. With what Myers was talking about is that religion would just work its way out. No one forcing it out. No one forcing you to believe any certain way. It would just work its way out. Just like the Greek and Roman gods worked their way out as people realized that they weren't true. They weren't real. But now you're going to tell me all about how this is what, you know, this is what evolution leads to. Let's get on with it. 
So now we get to this very dramatic appeal to emotion where we go through the horrors that was Nazi Germany and all the horrible things that happened because of the, you know, this idea that uh, Hitler wanted to create a utopia of mankind without disease, uh, without imperfections. Uh, he was going to push this idea of eugenics and all that sort of thing. I really don't see a point in going through much more of this because the whole thing is really, really dumb. Let's just say you're right, okay? This is how we find out if an argument is really worth going into any further. Let's just say you're right and that Darwin uh, taught uh, Hitler to do this. Somehow this one guy got into power, taught, uh, taught by Darwin um, that he should do this, convinced everyone they should all go along with it, and they all did, and uh, this is what happened this one time. Never mind the fact that, you know, Germany was still majority Catholic, God was still there, all this other stuff you were telling us that uh, was, would go away if we, if we had evolution. This wasn't about evolution, this was about a hatred of the Jews, that's what, that's what this all was brought about on. And then it was about uh, an economic idea that if we get rid of people that uh, can't work, you know, you know, it's, it's just this overall concept. People like that don't get elected, you know, because we feel for those people. You know, we are human. We don't, you know, we don't try and just get rid of folks because they they don't they're not useful to us in one particular way. Uh, and 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 understanding evolution doesn't get rid of that. The proof of that is I understand evolution. I'm an atheist. I don't feel that way. So this idea that just because Hitler did it, the rest of us would all do it too, is just insane. But let's just say you're right. So since the Crusades happened, that means that anyone who's religious would want to support the idea of the Crusades. Because the Inquisition happened, anyone who's religious would want to do that as well. All the genocides, all the wars, all the absolutely horrible things that happened because of religion, if you're religious, then that's what it's going to lead to. If we're going to let history be our guide, as Ben Stein says we should do, what does that say for religion? And as if bastardizing the Nazi movement to meaning that it was all based on uh, evolution uh, wasn't enough, now we get to eugenics uh, in a more pure standpoint and how it was going to go through, and they bastardized that into meaning that Planned Parenthood was just another form of eugenics. Give me a freaking break. Birth control for the po impoverished was had nothing to do with eugenics. It had to do with them not going into further poverty. It had to do with it, another child, uh, you know, wanting to be fed, which costs more money, would create an even deeper hardship for this family. And so creating birth control so that we're not bringing extra babies into the world is probably a good thing. Infant mortality rates, is that a good thing or not? You know, do we, do we want those to be high? Do we want them to be low? Which which way do you side on that? You know, what about uh, you know the, this this idea that uh, a child would suffer and end up in the system and create uh, you know, extra crime because it has no other op option because it can't figure out any other way to feed itself other than to steal from you? Probably not a bad idea to create a little birth control so that they're not just overpopulating. Um, you know, because we're going to have sex. That's not going to change. Oh, or are you against sex now too? Planned Parenthood was about that. Planning Parenthood. Birth control? Good thing. Fine actually admits that Darwinism doesn't automatically lead to Nazism. But if it did it in the past, could it lead to something today? I wonder what else we can apply that to. To equate eugenics to Nazism? To Planned Parenthood? You're just being dishonest at this point. Am I really to take you seriously? You really expect me to believe what you're trying to tell me when you're trying to suggest that teaching poor people not to have a bunch of babies is the same thing as Nazism? I'm, I'm supposed to buy anything else you say as being legitimate? Come on now. And so now we're going to throw in euthanasia and abortion into the issue. Because, hey, if evolution is all about life and death, then who cares if you kill grandma? This is just one ridiculous logical fallacy after another. I'm so glad we're almost to the end. Don't take my word for it. Think for yourselves.